guys i am engineer arsalan so our today discussion is about that how to calculate indeterminacy of a beam so today we will determine indeterminacy of a beam with a practical example we will take that beam and determine the indeterminacy of a beam so before starting i will tell you about the formula which is used in this question and as you can see that the formula for beam of static indeterminacy and kinematic indeterminacy before this what is the static indeterminacy and kinematic indeterminacy if you have not a clear idea regarding these two terms then you should watch my first video of this series so that your mind is clear regarding this topic so as we know that static indeterminacy is the sum of a external static determinacy and internal static indeterminacy so here the formula for the static in external indeterminacy for a beam is r3 so here r represent the reaction but if we have given an internal hinge in a in our beam then we will use this formula r man p3 man p into m dash man p1 so here m dash is the number of member jointed at internal hinge so so we will use this formula in case if we have given an internal hinge in our question if not given then we will use this formula simply or man p3 so we should note that the internal indeterminacy for any beam is a zero we will take it zero and the formula for kinematic indeterminacy for beam is 3j man p r here j represent the joint and or represent the reaction so this is the formula that we will use in our today question now we will solve our this beam for the indeterminacy first we will point out the static indeterminacy so first we will point out the static indeterminacy we are representing the static uh, indeter uh, degree of indeterminacy by, by ds as we know that the static indeterminacy is equal to the external static indeterminacy plus internal static indeterminacy si s external si internal so now we will find out the external static indeterminacy as we know that here is the one uh, internal hinge so for this we will use this formula as there is internal hinge in our question we will not use this formula but we will use this formula here it is so uh, how many reactions are there uh, this is a hinge support and this is a fixed support as we know that fixed support give us a three reaction by vertical direction horizontal direction and against the moment and hinge can give us two reaction in vertical and horizontal direction so there are five reac reaction so there are five reaction minus three and m as i told you that m is the m dash is the number of member joined at internal hinge so there are two member joined at internal hinge one this member and another is this member so we can write here so we can write here it two and this is one so by solving this the answer will be equal to one so our external indeterminacy for this beam a one now we will find out the internal indeterminacy as i told you that the internal indeterminacy for any beam will be equal to zero so here we will simply put it zero now here put the external and internal indeterminacy as we find that the external indeterminacy is one while internal is zero so the total static indeterminacy for this beam will be equal to one so now we will move toward the to find out the kinematic indeterminacy for this beam as i told that the kind of the formula for the kinematic indeterminacy for this beam is 3j monphy or so here 
it is equal to 3j manfi or 3j manfi r and we know that the number of joints here is a 3 1 2 3 so it is number of joint is 3 manfi and the reaction so how many reaction this upper two re reaction and this support upper three reaction so the number of reaction are five so the number of reaction are five so the kinematic indeterminacy is equal to four guys if you remember i have told you uh, about the kinematic indeterminacy the definition of kinematic indeterminacy that the kinematic indeterminacy is actually actually the degree of freedom at any joint so here are two joints and there the degree of freedom at this joint is only one because hinge support upper two reaction while allow us only for one moment which is bending moment and the fixed support upper three reaction doesn't allow us for any moment here the degree of freedom is zero and here the degree of freedom is one while you should note that an internal hinge there occur three types of moment one in this direction another in this direction and another out of length so their degree of freedom are three and here degree of freedom is one and here degree of freedom is zero so by summing of the degree of freedom out of all giant it will be equal to four so we can also find out the kinematic indeterminacy just by manual method only by pointing out the degree of determinacy at all the joint and summing of all these so guys we have found the de static degree of indeterminacy and kinematic degree of indeterminacy for this beam so if you have any question regarding our today's topic then you can ask without any hesitation so guys keep watching the video after this video i will make a video for frame that how we can determine the degree of indeterminacy for a frame structure so keep watching all the video thank you